Right, cleaning uh, wise, now it's the turn of the crankcases to be cleaned uh, and in particular all the oil ways. Uh, so on this uh, drive side we've got all the uh, oil pump and all the oil ways that go in and out here and all through the, the casing and then we've got the, sen the central uh, crankcase and that's got the drillings in the front for all the oil ways that then go uh, then go up uh, through to the main bearings. Uh, not so much on the uh, timing side, but all these cases have got to be really thoroughly cleaned because they've been vapor blasted and that and that uh, all got to take out the. Uh, I just realised there's one left there. That's the uh, anti drain. I put those. I put some plugs in just to try and stop the worst of the stuff, uh, worst of the vapor grit getting in to the uh, casing. But if you can look, you can see that 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 see all that grit on there, and that was when I sealed off all these holes and I sealed these off, uh, sealed all, all the, and and yet that grit is look at that. See, it still gets in there. Uh, and it's horrible, horrible. So it's actually glass. It's actually glass bead, very fine glass bead, like sand, and it gets absolutely everywhere. And it's got to be completely cleaned out because if you've got that going around your engine, then your bearings really aren't going to last for very long. So I've got some of the old hot soapy water, variety of brushes and jugs and things to, to really try and flush that oil out, uh, that um, grit and stuff out. And then again, I'll be using the. Uh, uh, compressed air to blast everything out and make sure it's all okay i can i can wash these because i mean the alloy i didn't want to wash the crankshaft obviously being steel and worried about corroding inside the oilways um but these obviously being alloy you can wash them uh which is a lot a lot easier and probably more effective so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to splish splash around for half an hour and really really give these casings a very very thorough clean Right, well, phase one of the cleanup is done, and they were really, uh, really dirty. You know, I had to give them a really good clean, especially uh, all around the uh, the oil pump, because there's so many oilways in here, so many different uh, oilways all meet in in here. So I had to give that a really good clean. Also, another uh, another point of uh, was actually inside the gearbox. Because, of course, you're not blasting inside the gearbox, but when they're doing it, all the dust settles in there and there's all these like little shelves that the um, the dust, the grit, loves to just settle on. So you've got to really clean everything. Then all around the uh, oil uh, filter uh, and these, uh, and as I say, these drillings all the way through the, all the way, that go all the way through the crankcases through to the oil uh, filter and up to the mains. Uh, I've also done the... Um, in a gearbox cover uh, because that um, that grit does it gets absolutely everywhere so it's not just the bearings you need to clean anywhere that's going to be inside the engine um, and then you can feel that grit you can feel it rather than see it you can feel whether it's still there it's, 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 it's like sand there's a small oil way here uh, in the uh, time inside case by the way um, don't, don't forget to clean that one out that uh, goes down to feed the it feeds the idler. There'll be, there'll, later on, there'll be an idler in here, and uh, that oilway comes down and feeds that shaft. But any anywhere that's going to be inside the engine, you, you know, it doesn't matter where, it's all got to be completely cleaned out because that grit, you know, all, all inside here, it was it sits everywhere. And then, of course, when you start the engine, it will just get carried around by the oil, and it can wreck the engine straight off. So. Um, I'm going to, uh, next up, I'm then going to um, put the uh, compressed air on all the uh, oilways and so on. And, and then I might, I might get the jet, wash, jet washer out and, and give them a good jet wash down through the uh, oilways as well. I'll see. I'll see how, uh, how clean they are. I'm just a bit worried sometimes that the jet washer can actually throw up a bit of dust and grit if you're not careful. But anyway, phase one done. I'll, I'll leave them a bit. Then I'll put the compressed air on and then uh, see see how clean I think they are right I'm just finishing off cleaning the crankcases I've washed them out several times and so on as I say especially all the insides uh, which is where that grit can uh, collect 
but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some carb cleaner uh, to actually double clean out the actual oilways that are inside the cases so this main oilway drilling is two of them and they go all the way through up to the main bearings and along into the uh, where the oil filter goes so I'm going to be blasting those out in particular because it's difficult and then I'm also cleaning out all the oilways in and around where the oil pump goes because there's so many little holes uh, and pipes and so on uh, all, all around this area and I want to be absolutely certain that they're clear like I say I've washed out all the insides and like I say feel that's the best way to feel if there's any grit or sand anywhere uh, but again I'm going to spray them uh, all the actual oil ways with brake cleaner uh, just to get everything out and in retrospect of course I could have done this uh, on the crankshaft as well if I'd have had my brain engaged uh, on the crankshaft uh, you can use carb cleaner or brake cleaner or whatever but I tend to use the carb cleaner on alloy because uh, I know it's okay with the because uh, it's designed for carbs but you can also use brake cleaner clutch cleaner as well but that's what I'm going to do now give these a good swell out I'm, I'm outside because this is mean stuff it's horrible I mean I'll, I'll probably just destroy half the ozone layer by the time I finished with one of those and uh, it's really pungent stuff so always use it outside because it uh, it really isn't good stuff but, but very good stuff for uh, cleaning out oilways right I've given them a, a really good clear out and uh, I'm glad I'm glad I did because uh, it's amazing how much crud still came out and I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up but can you see all this grit on here look that all that grit and stuff is what's come out and that's after I've washed everything out um, so you know so important to get those uh, those clear and what I've also done is I've also given all the, I've cleaned I've given all the threads a quick uh, blast out as well I will be uh, checking them with a the tap uh, later on because that uh, vapor blasting it really can bugger these threads up um, but first step is that I've, I've also done all the threads uh, on on the cases and I'll do the same uh, with the other cases give them a, uh, do all the do all the threads as well as the always get everything as absolutely clean as you can um, okay but uh, for now that's our cleaning that's our cleaning done before we chase up any threads and mend anything i know i've got a i've got to replace a stud there's a stud i've got to put a new stud in yeah there's a new stud needs to go in there things like that but the cleaning's done and uh we'll be and after that just checking everything's okay with the cases and cleaning out all the th all the threads in all the cases and then we're actually ready to start we'll be ready to start actual assembly then okay well that's it for now